Michael, thank you. Last night we showed you how certain toys can damage your child's hearing. You can hear them over me. But adults, you have to be careful as well. Joining me this morning, Dr. Jacqueline Rogers Scholl. She's an audiologist and she's got some great advice for us. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We, we always talk about, you know, we heard about it yesterday, the Hannah Montana doll. It's so loud and kids have to worry about uh, their hearing, but adults have to be pretty vigilant about it as well. Absolutely. At all ages, you have to protect your hearing. Um, Hannah Montana actually um, peaked out at about 107 decibels. She wow. was very loud. <laughs> yeah, very loud. Um, and you know, really, um, one of the things, the reason why we see a lot of the increase in noise-induced hearing loss um, is because of these new iPods, mm -hmm. MP3s. Um, we're actually teaching our children to put the sound directly into their ears and turn it up really loud. And we've you know, heard in the past that earbuds are bad to use. You obviously want to stay away from them. But at the same time, there are some different kinds of earbuds that actually help you out a little bit. Absolutely. Part of the reason why most people are turning up their iPods and MP3, cell phones, all those types of things is because of the, the noise around them. Um, the earbuds themselves, as you can see here, they're not really designed to fit real snugly into your ear. Mm -hmm. So what you end up doing is turning it up, turning it up so you can hear it. One of the best things that you can do for your children and for yourself is to get a pair of custom ear molds that these just plug right into. Oh, there you go. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It shuts out the ambient noise. It goes right into your ear. It shuts out the ambient noise, and you actually turn it down, which is what we want. And you know, when, when you're a teenager, you always listen to you know, Walkman going way back, and now obviously iPods and you know, MP3 players. Even little kids, five-year-olds, yes. are listening to MP3 players now. What can be done to help protect their hearing? You know, the same thing. Um, also, I have to tell you, there's this wonderful little product that I found. It's called Loud Enough, and I just got it online. Um, it comes in three different colors, and it's designed for small ears. I don't know if you can see these tiny. Um, children have the same thing. They're going to keep turning it up if all the sound around them is too loud. So if you can get a nice, good seal, even in those little tiny ears, um, and these are designed. These actually have a volume limiting, too. Um, they can keep turning it up and this is going to limit how much they can get out. So as a parent, um, these are really, they're $35. It's a wonderful, if you're going to invest in an MP3 or an iPod for your child, please invest in something that they can turn down the volume with as well. Now with the BOK Center and the Spirit Bank Event Center, a lot more venues to go see concerts. A lot of people have been going to concerts recently, including myself. What can you do when you're at these shows to make sure that you don't come out with the ringing in your ears or any damage to your hearing? You know, the problem with wearing earplugs, you know, regular just earplugs when you go to a show like that, is that you block out a lot of what you really want to hear, and that's the music. And people who are music lovers, that's why they go. We love loud music as people. I mean, we get something, our brain actually generates something for, with that loud music, so it feels good. Um, you can actually have um, custom, and you, there's products available that are not custom as well. And what they have is filters. They come in like 9 dB, 15 dB, um, and I think the highest is 25 dB. And what you're actually doing is um, you're still getting the quality of the sound, and you're still getting um, all those nuances that you want to hear. It's just that you're filtering out a lot of the damaging noise. There you go. Have to invest in a couple of those. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. Some great advice. And of course, if you missed out on our piece last night on toys and your kids hearing, just go to our website at fox23.com, click on Solving Problems.